the first place in Mumbai that I'm very emotionally connected with is Haji Ali because I remember my first apartment that I had was in Worli and straight out of my kitchen window I could look at Haji Ali and there were times when I would go for a walk at night over there and just sit and listen to the sound of the ocean. Uh, everybody talks about the spirit of Mumbai and I think that has to be the best thing about the city. I'm, I'm basically a Delhi girl who then moved to Mumbai but I've stayed here so long that um, I've ended up becoming uh, a Mumbai girl and I love it. Uh, stay close to work because traffic is terrible. Reach out to people in case you need help because people are wonderful. And uh, try street food, it'll never let you down. If you're to talk about one city you can't live without in Mumbai, yeah, the three months of the year that you need your umbrella and your gum boots, you better keep that ready through the year because the rains are just, it can, it, things can get messy. Mala, I didn't know what mala was, which was actually what floor, Konsa mala. And I was just like, initially I was just like, okay, because we would say manzil in uh, in Delhi. There's another thing when you want to, but I've seen a lot of people when they want to get, get each other's attention, they go, they do something like that, which is another Mumbai lingo thing. And uh, thirdly would be uh, Beda. I think Beda's egg, I still don't know. There was a time when my parents came to give an interview from Delhi because I was getting my first rented apartment on my own and I couldn't understand why they had to do it uh, mainly because I, they were never going to live there with me. But yeah, I mean, they, they come with strict rules and regulations. It's definitely Worli, uh, the sea face. It's definitely Marine Drive for me because, you know, I, I look at the city differently at 5.30 in the morning when I go and run. I live very close to Mount Mary. So I go up the steps a lot and, you know, there's, there's a beautiful view of Mumbai from there. So those three places. But I get cravings in the evening, so I definitely call for Bhel Puri from like the guy under my building. <laughs> I love uh, South Indian food, so I like Madras Cafe a lot. It's a great one. There's also Swati Snacks, which is uh, yummy, 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 fresh food. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's Bachelors, which is street food, literally. There's also Amar Juice Center, so yeah, the, the basic one. There's a lovely restaurant called The Table, which is in town. There's also Bombay Canteen, which is nice. There's Narathai, which is very nice for Thai food. I love the energy when there's Ganesh Chaturthi, and he's, you know, he's so cute and like to look at. And uh, Diwali is just lots of time with friends, family playing poker cards and making lots of noise and uh, yeah Christmas is usually quiet and it's it's a one evening celebration. I watch uh, pocket content on my phone. I travel by auto, I've traveled by, by cabs, I've traveled by public transport a lot. I haven't stepped on a local train except for when I was shooting a film called Ek Chalis Ki Last Local. You have uh, people in abundance, traffic in abundance. The city gets a lot of sun and I love that about this city. Uh, the condition of the roads. Definitely. And I'm Neha Dupia, and for your daily dose of maximum city and maximum entertainment, log on to www.midday.com. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.